today I'm here with a new video and today it's day number six in my Nabla week and I am doing a palette bingo with order rules with the dreamy palette. This was Nabla's first palette and it looks like this. I have used this once I think I really liked it that time and I get why people started to love Nabla when this came out. I don't really know how old this is, but it, it's, it has been out a couple of years, and uh, yeah, it looks like this. I really liked it the time I used it, and I think it is more than it looks. <laughs> that says anything. So I'm going to prime my eyes, and then we just get started. And this has 12 shades, so 1 through 12. And I can assure you that I'm going to have a shimmer in my eyelid. A shimmer in my crease. Or what do you think? Can you see this? Number 10. And I have no idea which number 10 is. What do you know? It's a rose gold. And it's a shimmery one. But actually, um, when I did palette bingo with... Oh, got some eyeshadow there. With the Poison Garden, I got a shimmer in my crease. And it actually worked, so... Let me see how this works. At least it wasn't a super light shimmer. Maybe that's good. And now I didn't tell you what this palette bingo with order rules is, but if you have been here at all this week, you should know. But this is, I think it was Jessica that came up with this. It has to be. She does these and I really like them. So it is a palette bingo, but with order rules. So the first shade you pick has to go in your crease. And the second one is going on your outer V, or, and then the third one on your lid, and the fourth one under your eyes, the fifth one in your inner corner, and then if you want to, you can pick a sixth shade where you can put wherever you want. And this rose gold. It actually works with a blending brush. Maybe it isn't like the best of the best and I have to work it in pretty much, but it works at least. Okay, so something like that and it actually works, so I'm not super mad about that. So the next shade I'm going to take on my outer half of my lid and can you see this? Number five. Nothing to worry about is this one. I'm not going to try to pronounce that word. No. So I take this and put on my outer half of my lid and I... This should be no problems at all. Together with the crease shade, maybe they are a little bit like too diff too similar. They are pretty similar. This was actually a nice color, but maybe not together with the crease color. And I really like Nabla's shimmer shades. They are good in all the palettes I've tried. It's only one palette from Nabla that I haven't tried yet. And I'm going to try that tomorrow. And it's the Dreamy 2 if you didn't know. Okay. That wasn't that even. Okay, so it feels pretty like meh, doesn't have like any 
it feels very similar these two shades and it doesn't like happening anything on my eyes right now so I really hope that the next shade is going to be something more different um, I don't know though what is going to suit this but I really hope for a matte because I don't want like all shimmers on my lid because I think that is going to look a little bit like the same Okay, so the shade that is going on the rest of my lid is 6. It is a matte. It is this one. I think it will suit, but I don't know if it's like... Feels so like light and nothing fun is happening, like at all. The colors like go together, but it feels like they goes together a little bit too well. I'm just going in with the shimmer that I have out here. It feels like there's. Like nothing is happening at all. But like what did I expect? This is a palette bingo with water rules so I can't really do anything about it. But like a darker shade would be appreciated and I am like I can promise you that for like my inner corner I'm going to get like a dogma just because but yeah I guess I can't do anything more than this on my lids so I'm going to take away the fallout fix my base and my brows and then hope for something but I don't want something super dark underneath my eyes so we will see. I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back. Okay, I am back and for my uh, under eyes. Am I sitting a little bit too far off? <laughs> okay, so for my under eyes, let's generate. Uh, can you see? Four. I haven't had four. I think. Okay, it's Delirium, this purple one. And now the big question is, is this going to be too dark? Probably, yeah. Can I do it without spraying it or anything? We will see. I just start to dip my brush in. Doesn't look good. And then if I tap it off, loses some... Okay, I will try without spraying it. Let's see how it looks. I think I think this is doable. I am though a little bit afraid of having this shade all over my face. But Some come off. So, okay, for my inner corner, 11. Have I had 11? I think. No, I have not. 11 is a lullaby, this light one. So, I'm going to find a brush. Just pop a lullaby in here. It could have gone worse for me in the corner, but it could also have been something better. I don't really like this in my inner corner. It feels like my lower 
lower lash is so much darker than my lids and I don't like that look. I know it's going to look better when I have mascara, mascara on and everything, but yeah. So I actually think I will take a sixth shade because if I got something dark, I can just take it. Yeah, I will. I will take a sixth shade. So number twelve, and that is a dark one. If I'm not mistaken, it's dogma. I think. Yeah. So it's this dark brown and I want to put it on my outer corners just to have something darker because now it feels, my lid feels pretty blend or like they are too light if you compare it to my lower lash I think. It's nothing like catastrophe but I don't like it. So I will take this dogma and put it out here and I have no idea how pigmented this is and how it's going to lay over the shimmer. Can I take it a little bit up in my crease as well? Just out here and then connect it a little bit with my lower lash. It's not perfect, but I think it's at least better than without it, so yeah. So yeah, I go like this because I have no other choice, but I think I am happy that I got this dark dogma so I could dip it down uh, on my outer. I think that was good. So I'm going to put on some mascara and a lippy and something in my wash line and then I'll come back. So, this is the finished look for my waterline. I used Get Paid from Colourpop. Yes, I use it like always. And for lips, I use my absolute favorite lipstick of all times. That is Hanging Rock from Nabla. Limited edition. I hate you, Nabla, for this. Take it back and I will love you forever. So, this is the finished look. And I need to look at myself. I like this. I think that Dogma really saved it. Um, if I could choose, I would have something different on my lower lash and in my inner corner. I think I would have liked to have the shade, this one, Lullaby, that I have in my inner corner. I would love to have it on my lower lash and then maybe have this in my inner corners instead. But yeah, the shades I got was Delirium, <laughs> this one, uh, Sistina, Rose Gold, Lullaby, and Dogma. And as in, it must have been Poison Garden, this Rose Gold really worked to have in my crease and I'm happy for that. I think it looks pretty cool actually. Maybe I have lipsticks here. Maybe this is my new thing. I don't know maybe but yeah this is my palette bingo with order rules with the dreamy palette from Nabla. I really like this palette if I'm going to be honest. I think it has some amazing shades and I think it is a good color story. I think that people i don't know how long time ago it was since this came out i have to check that up it feels like people wasn't that into these kinds of things when this came out but i think this is a little bit more popular now than it was how old can this be two years it has to be three years i think it feels like this is a little bit more popular now with like purple and I don't know what to call this palette. It's a neutral palette but with purple in it maybe? Is this that good explanation? Description? I don't know. But I really like it and if you like these colors 
buy this palette because it is so good. And I start to feel that with Nabla now that I only have one palette left to try, that you can take whichever palette you want and you will have a good palette. Maybe not Poison Garden, it maybe doesn't work for everybody. Er everybody. It works for me, I have nothing against it. It's not my favorite from Nabla, but I don't hate it. But yeah, this was my palette bingo with the Dreamy palette. And tomorrow it's going to be the last video for this Nabla week. I have thought this has been really fun to do. And I really hope that you have liked this week. So yeah. Uh, if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!